Hello everybody, Blast here and I'm back with another movie review. Today I'm talking about Train to Busan. It's a Korean zombie horror film about a father trying to get his daughter to safety amidst a zombie outbreak. It's a very simple plot with a lot of heart and horror to it. So, the story begins with the truck driver driving through a quarantine and he runs over a deer. He gets out and sees that it's dead and just continues to drive away. The deer gets back up, it looks at the camera, and this sort of brings up a few questions, at least when I watched it. Uh, and I feel the need to state that this is my second viewing of the movie in the in uh, its original language with subtitles. I don't do dubbed. Uh, well, maybe for anime it depends, but I don't know. Uh, uh, anyway, the questions that I brought up. So, question one. Does the virus bring you back to life? Is it like a Walking Dead kind of thing? Or is it a 28 Days Later kind of thing? It doesn't explain. And question number two. Does it infect every animal? So is, it, so is the deer just like, is it patient zero? Or does it mean every single animal included can be infected? And is that driving to kill? And number three. How do you kill those infected since the truck running the deer over did not kill it? So... I just thought those are kind of weird. Anyway, we cut to a man named Sok Woo. He's a businessman who doesn't have time for anyone, including his own daughter. We say that he loves her. He just doesn't have a connection with her as he asks his co-worker, his co-worker, what kids are into these days. So he buys his daughter a Wii, but as it turns out, when he returns home, she already has one. He then asks her what she really wants, and she says that she wants to see her mother in Busan, which is what sets off their quest. So, we meet some other characters such as a buff dude and his pregnant wife, a young softball player and his girlfriend. That's not really his girlfriend. It's sort of like she likes him, but he's like, he's, he's kind of like a scary cherry or something. And uh, a homeless dude. So, pretty, pretty cool cast. All amazing actors, by the way. So anyway, back to it. The big theme is about classism, and it hits that theme on the head a lot throughout the movie. Especially when... Uh, they're trying to kick out the homeless man and they treat him like garbage on the train. It's kind of messed up. But that's what they're trying to show. And uh, the theme it isn't a bad thing. It's just something I noticed among the characters. So anyway, our main character gets on the train to Busan. Uh, however, there's an infected girl that sneaks on board of the train. Uh, seems like there's an imposter among us. Anyways, that was my synopsis. So what did I like about the movie? Number one. It was bloody and it had very scary looking monsters. So imagine 28 days later meets like World War Z zombies. It's really good. Number two, it's believable and the characters are well written and they're gr greatly acted. Great. Is that the, t no, they did a good acting. They, they, the actors, all the actors and actresses, they did amazing and what they were, and what, and the characters that they were trying to make believable and real. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, <laughs> number three, it has an amazing tearjerker ending. Like, I cried both viewings of the movie. And number four, it has a lot of heart. And I already mentioned great acting. I literally cannot think of one actor in this movie that seemed cringe. So, what didn't I like? Number one, the intro with the truck driver felt unnecessary. But I suppose it could have been like a homage to the intro of Resident Evil 2 about the truck driver running over that lady. So maybe that was like trying to pay homage or I don't know. I just thought it was uh, interesting to uh, notice the similarity. Um, number two, the special effects look a little wonky at times, but it doesn't bother me personally. I like B movies. And um, other than that, it's an amazing zombie movie and I, strong I strongly recommend it to zombie and horror movie lovers alike. I give Train to Busan an eight out of 10. So I'm sorry this review was a little short. Um, I just wanted to get something out there because last week I did not upload anything because I've been really sick. My allergies and I also had a cold and they're hitting me at the same time. I'm still recovering, but I feel a lot better now. So expect at least two uploads this week. This is this being one of them. So to end off everything, if you like the review, be sure to leave a like. If you watch the movie, I hope you leave your own thoughts uh, about the film in the comments below. Please, I, I, I love reading comments. And if you want more reviews and other commentary videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you're feeling generous, I recently started a Patreon. I would appreciate any donation. The link to that will be in the description of the video. 
or in the description of the video, in the description. And um, I think that's it. I'll see you in the next one, everyone. Bye-bye.